In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you can get in Mobile, Alabama for under $50,000. That's right, under 50K in Mobile on half an acre. Hey, my name is Jeff Jones with Keller Williams right here in Mobile, Alabama, and every single day I get people reaching out to me who want to know more information about what it's like to live in Mobile. So call the number on the screen, reach out, anything you want to do so that we can help you in that process. But in this video, we're going to show you all the details about this area and how you can live, like I said, for under 50K. So let's dive in. Okay, so here's the deal. You know, not only are we gonna talk about how you can live for under 50K, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the property, give you, you know, some insight into what you can actually get, but we're also gonna talk about the area. So we're gonna talk about, you know, the schools close by, talk about the restaurants, the grocery stores, how close are you actually to the interstate? And let me tell you, you're very, very close to I-65. So we're gonna talk about all of that. But here's the thing, you know, a lot of people think, well, wait a minute, under 50K, I can't get like a big mansion for that. Well, no, you can't. But what you can get is you can get a three bedroom, two bath home, and this is a manufactured home, okay? So I believe it's a 16 by 80. And you've got like half an acre here. So if you want to pan around and show a little bit, you know, you've got a front porch. Obviously, they've got a grill here that they do that. And then of, um, you've got a power pole here. You've got lots of beautiful oak trees. And also on the back, you've got a storage building. So if you're kind of tight on the budget or if you want to pay cash for something and you just want to get away from the hustle and bustle, well, this is a good option. So uh, we're going to give you a few more details. Let's check it out. Okay, so like I mentioned, you know, property like this, you've got your power pole that you tie into. Now, down in the south, we have septic tanks. So this property is actually on a septic tank, uh, but I think you're gonna be surprised when you go inside. It's got a ton of room. So let's go ahead and hop inside. We're gonna climb up on the porch. And obviously, they've been doing some grilling on the porch. He's got his grill here, uh, covered porch here. Walk up the steps. And I think you're gonna be impressed. It's got a lot of room in here got luxury vinyl plank flooring. It's only about a year old. Uh, if you see my assistant Avery there hanging out. And uh, so you got this big open uh, great room here and then you go into the dining room. You've got the kitchen, all the appliances like normal. And you've got your utility space. Let me cut on this light here. Oh, where is it? There we go. So you've got a utility space in there. And then we're going to the master area. and. Got enough room, like they have, two separate beds. And then you go in here, you've got a garden tub, separate vanities, and of course, a separate shower. Now let's head to the other section. I'm gonna show you the other two bedrooms and the other bathroom. So we'll go on through here. And again, like I said, it's wide open, lots of space. It's got central heating and air. It's one of the things that many people ask about. You've got your back porch here, which is where the security guard dog typically hangs out. Uh, and then you've got another bedroom here, which they're primarily using as storage. Well, let's come on back here. We'll show you this other bedroom. It's got a bay window. You've got a closet. And then we'll take a look at this other bathroom over here. Full bath, sink, toilet, and a tub. So if you think about it, where else can you live for under 50K? And like I mentioned, you've got almost half an acre here. It's kind of, kind of out from the hustle and bustle. And, and so a lot of great things about this, but we're gonna hop in the car and we're gonna give you a little tour around the area. And this is very close to an area of town called Saraland. Now, Saraland is a booming place. They've got a super Walmart. They've got all kinds of restaurants, a Publix grocery store, a mobile infirmary, like a, a satellite place. And this place is just on fire. I can't wait to show it to you. Okay, so we're going to drive through the rest of the neighborhood, and the reason why is the other day when I came out here on the listing appointment, we looked up and there was a horse running around the neighborhood, which was crazy cool, and I was later informed that, well, that was an accident. He got out, but we are on the prowl right now to see if we can find that horse, so maybe, maybe we'll have some footage. Well, no such luck. So the horse was in a pen in the back, which is where he should have been in, uh, you know, behind some fencing and so forth. But uh, anyway, we're going to drive through the rest of this uh, area and we're going to head to the city of Saraland, which is super close by. And I'll show you what Saraland has to offer. OK, 
Okay, so we're turning off of Highway 45, and uh, now we're going to be on 158. So Highway 158 takes you all the way into Sarah Land. Now the thing that's important about this is, you know, a lot of folks, they want to live kind of out away from the hustle and bustle of Mobile. Well, here we're actually still in Mobile County, and you're really close to downtown. I would say from the place I just showed you, we're probably 20 minutes from downtown Mobile. Um, so of course you can live there, like I said, for under 50K, hop on you know, 45, get connected with 158, take you into the heart of downtown and have an amazing night out. Just get to see some great museums and be on the water. So all sorts of great things. So it's not very far and you can live um, very frugally, uh, but yet still be super close to downtown Mobile. And I almost forgot, right off of 158, is the University of Mobile. That's where I actually went to college. It used to be called Mobile College, but then it transitioned into the University of Mobile. It's a great place. Um, so who knew, you know, in Mobile County, kind of North Mobile near Sarah Land, there's a great university, offers a lot of great programs. And so uh, actually there, uh, there's some pretty, uh, I guess some, uh, some folks of notoriety that have come out of the University of Mobile. You should check it out. And so right off of 158, we've got you know, convenient shopping center, and at the very entrance of the shopping center, you will see that Sarah Land, Alabama officially has a Starbucks. And so with the Starbucks, you've also got a Firehouse Subs, and you've got a Zaxby's, um, you've got a Mug Shots, which makes amazing hamburgers, and of course, the, uh, I guess like the anchor of this area is a Publix grocery store. Publix is great, love it, super convenient, pretty much has everything you want. They've got some hotels here, and they're building something else new, and I do not know what it is, but I will make it my mission to find out. Okay, so after doing a little research, it turns out that's gonna be like an auto place, get your oil changed, and then right next to it will be a car wash called the Blue Moose Express. Okay, so one of the other things, of course, we've got a Popeye's chicken, we've got an Alabama orthopedic clinic, and then one of my favorite places of all, no, we're not talking about the Hampton Inn and Suites. Now that is nice, but right next to that is Cracker Barrel. And of course you know about Cracker Barrel. If they put a Cracker Barrel in a location, you can rest assured that that is a thriving area. And of course, like I mentioned, Sarah Land is. So lots of amazing things going on here. And then I'm gonna show you something that a lot of folks find extremely valuable. I mentioned that um, Mobile Infirmary has like a satellite office. Well, here it is. This place is beautiful. And it's great to know that there's actually an emergency room in an emergency uh, hospital right near, right near your community uh, and a place you can go and get diagnostic tests. And all of that, that entire shopping center, is actually less than 10 minutes from the property I just showed. So Sierra Land, like I said, it's a thriving area. But next on the list, we're actually getting kind of hungry. You know, it's like 12.45 in the afternoon. So we're going to actually eat at Fusakli's. Now, in all my other videos, I talk about Fusakli's. Uh, but they have they have a location in Sarah Land, and that place is always packed. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get in, uh, and then we're gonna have an amazing lunch. And of course we had to have lunch at Fusakli's. And again, you know, if you're coming to Mobile, whether it's Sarah Land, whether it's the Eastern Shore, always stop into Fusakli's because they do not disappoint. Okay, so here's the thing. This next place I'm gonna show you has a very special place in my heart. Uh, this is actually called Redemption Church. Uh, it used to be called First Baptist North Mobile, and this is where I got married. It's actually where I met my wife for the first time, you know, saw her across the room, you know, the whole romantic thing. But anyway, I'm going to kind of pull into the parking lot, give you a tour of that. This is a really large church, and again, within about 10 minutes of the property that I showed, they've got a huge student center there, and then, of course, they have the main sanctuary here. So you can uh, find a great church in this area, find anything you want to eat, do all your shopping, and have a great medical facility. Pretty much everything you need right here in Sarah Land. So right on this main strip, Highway 158, of course you got your super Walmart here. And of course you know you can find just about everything there. But I'm gonna actually wrap up at another place that I absolutely, well, I'd say I love it, but it's actually the dentist office. 
But the reason I love it is because the dentists are great friends of mine, and they're great folks, and you have to look them up if you live in Mobile. Their last name is Farney. So they're twins, the Farney brothers, and uh, their dentist office is the nicest dentist office that I've ever seen in my entire life. Just take a look at that place. And there you have it, folks, what you can get in Mobile, Alabama for under 50K. So we talked about Sarah Land, the surrounding area, all the great things that this place has to offer. Hey, but don't forget to like and subscribe because each week we're dropping a brand new video about this amazing place that I like to call home. So shoot me a message, you know, send me an email, any way you want to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you. I can't wait. Once again, I love talking about this amazing place called Mobile.